Today's outcrop of the day is this beautiful big outcrop of jasperoid silica. Now, at first glance that might look like some kind of epithermal deposit, but it's not. This is a gossen, a gossen after massive sulphide. I'm in the hot, dry, subtropical climate southwest of Cloncurry in North Queensland, Australia, and in this climate, massive veins of sulphide leach silica out of the wall rock and precipitate this stuff as a gossen. There's a bit of a clue to that in the outcrop behind me over there, all those nice black and brown colours on it. Now there's no old workings here to tell me that the sulphides that made this gossen are anything other than pyrite, but this blue, grey and white precipitates on the surface there with a black background is something you very commonly see in systems that have some lead in the sulphides. So I'm guessing there's at least some base metals in this system. On top of that, there's a bit of copper grass, Eriacne mucronata, growing between the boulders of Gossen here. So I think we might be onto something. If I break a piece off here, and on this piece here, you can see that smooth, rounded, conchoidal fracture surface that characterizes these jasperoid gossens. And on this piece here, you can see there's some blue, white, crusty quartz crystalline growths growing on the inside of the cavities and a relic framework after the large sulfide crystals that are now dissolved out. This piece here has got some nice, obvious boxworks after sulfide on the surface. So let's break that open and have a look what's inside. And there it is, beautiful open framework gossen after sulphide. And you can see that as that sulphide gets dissolved away and the silica precipitates, it gets progressively infilled into this jasperoid silica down here. And that's what you see on the surface. So if you're working in a hot subtropical environment like this one, and you come across a nice big outcrop like this of jasperoid silica with some nice brown colours on it and a conchoidal fracture surface, take a sample.